Hello everybody, FunshotX here. Welcome back to Forever Stranded Lost Souls. Uh, yeah, last episode we spent 34 em or no, 64 emeralds on a cow uh, where we have morbs and we could have just gone to the overworld and gotten one that way. Yeah, but this is a special cow. He's never been in the world. He's never been tainted, so his milk's going to be pure. You know, he's a very nice cow. He was worth those 64 emeralds. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> Cool. Anyway, we have him. We're going to do something with him this episode. Um, the other thing is the uh, that empowered um, seeds that we got, the canola seeds. I figured out how to do the, the change it into oil. Um, you have to put oil on the ground, which means we had to go to the overworld to do it. Uh, put it on the ground. I threw the seed in. It turned into another type of uh, seed or oil. And then I put it in the empowered seed and it turned into the powered oil. And I could think I could put this in the oil generator. It might produce a little bit more RF. Maybe it produces a lot of RF. I don't know. But we've got this thing here. Why are we ever going to produce another power source until, you know, very, very end game? So I have it. I, one thing I wanted to check was maybe he forgot to what blacklist is in the nether. No. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Okay. So, yeah. That's that's it. Oh, I forgot I got some uh, appetite. I need to get out of here. Been hunting in the overworld just for a few things while, while I'm waiting for stuff to, to process onto YouTube. Okay, today, let's start with the cow. We want to put the cow in a jar. You've probably seen this before, but if you haven't, it's a pretty fun little craft. So we need to get a jar, not a glass. We need a jar, Funshine. There we go. So here's the empty milk jar. It does take a milk bucket, uh, some glass, and then a plank on top. So we need a plank. Glass should be in here. I think we need uh, seven of it. And then we'll get our bucket out. Okay. And we need to, we'll have to put our cow down. We're also going to need our anvil, which is right here. And then we'll need some blocks just to kind of break them in. So let's take some cobble and find a good place. Uh, where's where do we got some extra room? Right on this wall looks good. So we are going to put a jar on the ground right here. The cow will be right on top of that. So we can put him right in this little hole here. All right, and then we'll put our anvil right there. It'll fall on his head and kill him. So for now, well, I want to milk him. Let's put something right there. Oh, is he going to escape if I do that? I need more room. What if, hmm, we'll come out here where we got tons of room. <laughs> then we don't have to worry about it. All right, so let's say that's the jar. I need something to hold him in, so we'll put that there. And we'll give him a little pen here to survive in. Alright, Mr. Cow, you were going in. Do not, like, die in the walls. Okay. Give him us a little bit of milk, please. Perfect. Now I'm going to go, while you're sitting there, craft this, uh, this milk bucket, milk jar. Cool. Get the bucket back. And he's up there, so I can remove this. That's fine. Put that there. I need to take out this. I don't think he'll run away because he's stuck there, but just in case. Ah, oh, goodness. Morbs. Where are my morbs? Ha. Huh. <laughs> okay, apparently I need to trap him in a little bit better. But the good the the question is can I release him by throwing him? Oh no, he's taking damage. Okay, he's in. He is in. And we want to drop an anvil on his head to push him into the jar. And you hear the pop sound, that means it worked. Okay. Cleaned up, nice and clean. So he is in the nut jar now. I love that craft. That's a that's a really cool thing. And we get a quest reward for completing our milk. And we can add this to our big multi-block kitchen. Uh, where do we got room? We can get rid of the spice rack, maybe. Or tool rack, I mean. We can, uh, just, I won't even use it. Um, but now, as we craft, you can see anything that requires milk is now available in here. So let's look for, like, just... Hmm, 
It should be available. Oh, I probably have to have a bucket first. He needs to produce more. He's only produced 150. Little baby cow in there produce some milk for us. Maybe we get to 250. We can do a small thing. Let's just verify. 250. Quarter bucket of milk. No, we're going to need a full bucket, I believe. But anyway, it's producing milk for us. It'll work automatically forever. Um, the toaster, I forgot, will cook bread for free. You don't have to put it in the oven. Because we crafted it with a lava bucket, it's like free free cooking. So I think if we craft a bread... Oh, that needs to cook the wheat flour first. Uh, does that put it in here? Yeah, I tried to put it in there. I don't really want to, but if we had uncooked or we had cooked, we had normal bread, we could um, craft toast, and it would just be a free craft in the toaster, I believe, unless things have changed or if I'm not remembering right. You guys can correct me. Why did this produce rocks? That's weird. Thought I was using my pick. Um, tool rack. I don't really care about. It. You can go in here. More back in there, and racing one. Okay, so that's our milk. I just wanted to complete that real fast. We can go look at uh, getting foods and claim that quest. Just so. A little more complete there. Um, here's all the stuff we need to get as well. Tons of stuff. But that will wait for another day. The thing I want to do next, guys, if we look down at our difficulty level, it's, it's a 134 and climbing. I'd like to kill the dragon before it gets too much higher. <laughs> because every... Spawn of difficulty gives him more health and more damage, I assume. So let's kill him, which means we need to go to the end, which means we have a lot of work on our hands. Because if we look at the quest to go to other worlds uh, for the end portal, we need an end portal and end pedestal, very similar to we, as we did to go to the overworld. Uh, we need some stuff for Mastral Sorcery. Not too difficult. This resin gem will make us, require us to do some multi-blocks. The Cave Illuminator we can do right now. Uh, we need to get some runes from Botania. I think we're about set up to do that. And then we need this Molten Dawn Stone. And it says you probably need five buckets. We probably want to craft a little bit more. Um, but that means we need to get numbers. So I think today we'll start with Botania. And we'll craft the end portal pedestal. And maybe move into Astral Sorcery. At least start it. Uh, and, and then we'll go into Embers another day. Um, so let's, let's start with the crafting, maybe. Ender, end, is it just end, portal, or pedestal, that didn't work, there we go, <laughs> close enough, alright, so the, uh, the pedestal itself, blocks of diamonds, stone slab, chiseled stone, and then the portal, another beacon, and then the, uh, you know, which means that all of this stuff, which means more blocks of diamonds. Ooh, we're going to actually use quite a bit of blocks of diamonds here. So that's... We need one of these, right? Yep, so that's 12 blocks of diamonds. And then we need four of these. That's another eight. So we need 20 blocks of diamonds to get to the dragon. Do we have that? Quite a few. Um, I shift-clicked. Oh, I got enough for 64 blocks if I wanted. Oh, that's a little overkill. Let's just go with 20. All the rest of you diamonds get back in your home. Oh, we still got more in here. Why didn't... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, we got our 20 blocks. Uh, we'll get some obsidian. Probably need more than that. We need a bunch of ender pearls. We need another star if I have one. I do. Probably need some glass. Alright, let's see how close that gets us here. Beacon, casing, blocks, pearl, two, three, four, we need 12. And we need some black quartz. I should have some of that. Maybe not enough. Dang it, not enough. That's a bummer. Yeah, we can only get two of it. Hmm. Um, I don't really want to go sift anymore. I go to the Twilight Forest. There's actually quite a lot of it in Twilight Forest. But for now, let me just uh, dump all this stuff in here, and we'll come back and craft that when we can. I don't think I need any pearls anymore. I only need five of those. Just a little bit of obsidian. 
All right, that'll work. It's all ready for us. Let's go over and do some Botania. Glass. You don't have a spot? I guess you don't have a spot. You go in there. I've already gone ahead and made all of the little items we need for the Botania um, runes, uh, but we will need the runic altar uh, first. So that's five living rock and a mana pearl in our luminous crafting table. So let's, I've got that ready to go. We'll head on upstairs. We've got 11 minutes to craft this or we shall die, I hope. <laughs> And there we go. Oh, I need my little guy here. Look how much light we got in the nether. I love that it's right here. It's it's like 100% when it's dark. It's going down. It must be approaching uh, daytime. I hope that thing said I still had 11 minutes. <laughs> I guess I could just go down and come back up and it should reset, right? Yeah, every time you go down and up it resets. So you got Runic Altar. Head back to Botania. Um, I've got it set right up here. There we go. All right, and let's just force this to aim at it just in case. Oh, pff, wrong wand. <laughs> Need uh, that wand. Yeah, that that's much better. Okay, so we've got mana in there. We probably don't have a lot of mana. I like ran out of coal. It's pretty pathetic. But um, so let's start with each one here. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to give a, a living rock for that. I'm missing an item. Oh, there it is. So we can just drop these on here. That should go. Let me go get a some living rock. Did I put that in the blocks? Yeah. And that is ready. Cool. So we got uh Two runes of water. Same thing with everything else here. I don't know how are we doing on mana. That's probably not going to last for all five of these recipes. So we're going to fire coming up. Yeah, this might maybe make us one, maybe two more of these runes. So I should probably go get some coal going while I'm doing this. I'll do this one and then go get coal. See, I need to automate some some better stuff to put for these to feed these plants. That'd be, probably be better if I made blocks, huh? Two, three, four. Eat it. Just eat it. There you go. Okay, I think this is what spring or winter. That was probably winter. These are all look up, you can look them up in any eye, so really didn't bother showing me to go grab all the materials. But we only need the uh, the basic runes to get to the end. Oops. Alright, how you doing? We might make this last one. So, oh, I think block of coal was one of the required elements in this. Oh, come on. Was that the wrong set of stone? Which one have we not made? Air, fire, water, so it's probably a root of earth. Chiseled stone. Block of coal. Mushroom, mana powder. Is it because of the amount of mana? No? Hmm. <laughs> the only thing I think of is it's the, uh, no, don't, I don't want you down there, I just wanted you, so let's grab everything off again. Brown mushroom's good for sure. Coal, block of coal is good for sure. So let's make a chiseled stone jelly bean, I don't know. I didn't even know there was a jelly bean chiseled stone. Where are you, jelly bean? Jelly bean. Oh, 
Okay. Apparently it wants a jelly bean. <laughs> no, looks like there's some specific chiseled stone that it accepts and maybe not the vanilla chiseled stone. Or we've just had a mana. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Bam and bam. All right, we've got all four of our runes. Uh, I'm going to keep the extra ones in here just in case I need to make some, like, other, more, you know, one of the, the secondary runes. Like, uh, summer and winter and earth, that kind of thing. All right, but well that's that's four ingredients of our ender, pearl, ender portal done. So let's store them in here. Okay. And might as well feed these guys a little bit more if they're ready for it. Doesn't look like they're ready, so I'll put that in. Extra coal in there. Did I accidentally sort my inventory? It all looks like it's in the wrong place. Sorry, I'm OCD when it comes to where my inventory is. Okay, uh, we can put this extra living rock in here. And put our wand away. Okay. So, back to quest logs here. We've got all those. Probably needs everything before it'll actually complete any of them. Let's do the cave illuminator because it's a piece of cake. We're going to need our uh, powder we made a while back. Was that in my bag? Hmm, where have I put that? There it is. Illumination powder. Where are you? Uh, only two of it. Uh, four rune marble and two aquamarines. Where have I put my marine aquamarines? Good question. Huh. I do not see them. Maybe I am blind or I put them somewhere else. Oh, there they are. I think I've got all my stuff in here. So four of this. Two aquamarines. Two of that. Sure, you can go in here too. Just keep all my like astral sorcery in that one. I don't know. And we'll go back up top 11 minutes later. Hopefully we get this done. Wow, this takes a lot of stuff. So I'll have to come back up in here when it apparently is night. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, since it is day, let's let's open this chest. Let's just not take it up our inventory. Some melons. I'm gonna put melons in here. Check this cow. How many buckets you got in there? Seven buckets. And now, what can we get? There we go. There's our fresh milk. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it's crafting it. Okay, <laughs> put the milk in the fridge. But yeah, so that's working great. Let's go to the uh, the overworld. And if you have an unnatural sorcery, one of the main things you need is the rock crystals. Those only um, appear at the bottom of the world, at bedrock. Uh, and you can see them by walking around. Did I just get a firework? Weird. Oh, I think I killed a, a creeper over here. <laughs> Maybe there's like a thing sticking there. Um, you can only get them in the overworld, and you can see them at nighttime if you're holding the resonating wand in your hand. Uh, at night, it'll show little white puffs of crystal and uh, or puffs of smoke, and you can dig down at that location to get them. So I think I marked one actually right over here. Um, if you look at my map, I've got so many waypoints. I went down here because it's more open. It's harder to find them in the trees. So down here, you can see I've marked quite a few of them. Um, some of them I've spelt really bad because I was like trying to run away from a, uh, like this one, <laughs> Crustace, uh, trying to run away from some kind of mob while I was typing in the uh, the waypoint. So where did I say it? it's just right over here? No, over here. Where's the close one? Where am I? I swear there was. Oh yeah, it's this dark blue one. Dark blue right over here. Okay. Wrong way. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so we I marked them all in the nighttime, and then I can just come back in the daytime and dig down and find them. So um, don't waste your time at night actually trying to find them. You should just be, or dig for them, you should try to be finding them. Um, and I think we have a problem, is my, uh, all my tools that can dig dirt are, like, broken. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Um, yeah, so we're just going to dig with a pick and hope we don't in encounter a lot of uh, dirt. I am going to dig straight down because I do have, well, I should have a salamander's eye if I start on fire. And I can always just throw my ender pearl straight up to get out of stuff. 
It's gonna be dark. Oh, and of course we run into dirt. We're at 45. Usually it's brighter. Oh, there's pro oh, I left a tree <laughs> right above me or else it would probably be bright. Which kind of also dampens my escapability because I'm... Oh, oh, hello. Anybody here? Oh, there's some scary stuff. Oh, that's going to like fall down on my head. Oh, this is probably bad. Oh, there's a rock crystal. Whoa, there's lots of it. Oh, that's quartz. Okay, I was like, wow, we got lots of rock crystal. Let me get some torches out so you guys can even see. Uh, Lantern Paranoia came in a quest reward. It'll act actually place torches for me, but it spams them, and I, I like to be more specific with how I place them. All right. How close are we to bedrock? We are at four, three, two, and we're here. Okay. Now we just kind of have to dig around until we find it. Usually it's in, like, the bottom three layers. Let me go ahead and put another torch in here. You know, we could probably just set this up for like a 5x5 five five and then just click. That didn't work because <laughs> I think it targeted the other stuff. Oh, there's some diamonds. Not bad. Uh, black quartz. <laughs> Good stuff down here. Not what I'm looking for, but... There it is. Oh, how did I... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there's our rock quartz. I do have, what, looting Fortune 3, so I should get quite a few crystals. And they're in this big, giant mess of rocks. Why am I only getting rocks? Is that some... That thing must change in the patch, where cobble now gives rocks instead of actual cobblestone. And of course, I've got a magnet on, so I can't actually do anything with it. I don't want that. We'll keep the ores here. I don't know how I got resonant crystals as well. Uh, da, da, da. There's one rock crystal, two rock crystals. It looks like we only got two. I think you get up to three. But that's all good. What is that? Copper for members? Um, anything else I want while I'm down here? Can always use more redstone. Well, probably not. I've got so much redstone. <laughs> okay, and I don't think there's any other crystals that are close by. If we look on the map, I wasn't able to find any. So we'll go ahead and go into our waypoints. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and turn this one the close one. We can just go ahead and remove it because we don't need it anymore. There's no longer a rock crystal here. Can we get up to the top? Oh, oh no, I've fallen in. That was... <laughs> okay, that did not work. Uh, how about we do this? Um, up, click, there we go. What did I put? I put andesite in there. Ah. <sighs> I can't craft it while there's stuff in my inventory. Dang it! Stay. Magnet. Off. You guys stay over there. Okay. And again, I mixed andesite with normal cobble. It all looks too similar. Rock and rock. Any day? Okay. Let's get out of here, finally. Is it nighttime now? Oh, it's sunset. Yeah, I was thinking I'd just ender pearl right out of this thing. It'd be a piece of cake, but then I forgot the ender pearls don't really travel in a straight line, so I'm getting, like, caught in the walls. Man, this is exciting content, me pillaring out of a big hole. All right, well, now that it's nighttime, I'm going to head back to the nether uh, as soon as we get out of here, and we'll craft up our cave illuminator. Oh. Rock, rock. That's andesite. Okay. 
Come on. We're almost out. <laughs> so close. Note to self, we need to get a hole clear out all the way to sunlight so it actually lights up your hole. Okay. Uh, go ahead and where's my portal? Portal. Right there. We and drop. Bouncy. Oh, I didn't want to bounce that high. And let's take a little bit of damage here. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, back home. Home we go. Eat a little bit as we come in. See, I think uh, every night I'll be up up here crafting stuff, and every day I'll be out in the overworld uh, getting more crystals and that kind of thing. I'll craft our cave illuminator. And if we look at, uh, go back to just kind of like the standard stuff for, um, what would this be under? Magical world? Yeah, there we go. So the things it wants us to get, obviously the star crystals. Oh, it says it needs a linking tool. Why? Okay, that's weird. Why not just go get a star crystal? Uh, we also need to get a light well. So let's uh, let's go crafting well, crafting recipe for the light well, and that does take rock crystals. So it's one thing I need to go get them for. We need marble and aquamarine, so we could probably go craft a few of those. I like to craft quite a few of them. And dump off my rocks into this chest. This is just a chest. I'm like, yeah, I don't have anywhere else to put this, so I put rocks in there now. And that works, works fine for me. Alright, what else can I dump out of here? Oh, you, oh yeah, you go there. And some stuff to process, I think, goes in here. Wish I could just get rid of some stuff. I don't want a rock. Where's my trash can? Don't I have a trash can? It's somewhere around. I don't know where it is. Okay, so for the uh, things we need, a ton of marble. Um, it wanted rune, but really I've got a chisel, so I can grab anything. Um, I wanted my crystals, which I've only got two of, so let's get four aquamarines for those if I have them. Perfect. Okay, so we'll grab in our bag, get our chisel. I'm hoping they'll allow us to chisel marble. Yep. No, not all of it. <laughs> the other one, we'll just turn into raw marble. Okay, so it was three there, two there, I think. And then we need our crystals. Nope. Maybe like this? Nope. Try again. Oh, chiseled marble in that slot. Chiseled right there. So you can put multiple crafting recipes in in the thing at one time, but it's only gonna craft once for every click. So I think. Maybe it did two. No. Any day? Oh I had to put another crystal in it. Because <laughs> they don't stack. There we go. So we've got a light well here. And we can just maybe put it right there, right there. We need to put something in there. Now, crystals are the best way to get tons of liquid starlight. Uh, but since we don't have any more, let's just start if we have some aquamarines. Just to get us going. Oh, do not shoot me. Um, so I'll go ahead and just click the top of these. And at nighttime, they'll produce a lot of liquid starlight. Well, not a ton, but good amount and at daytime they produce very little and have a good chance of just popping like disappearing so yeah they're going and we can probably see how oops see how much they have so we're up to 100 mil buckets and climbing on both of them and we need to get a full bucket here before we can really move on uh we did get a credit for the quest let me find the button there we go so that's a oh and what else it wants a bucket of liquid starlight okay makes sense um, let's look at this linking tool. What is it? I want for that. Oh, we have to get up to the second level altar for that. Interesting that it wants that you to do that first. 
I think that that quest is not correctly created because it is dependent on this one yet it looks like you need it before you get this one that's really weird oh it's dependent on liquid starlight okay I mean whatever this one should be dependent on that I think it this one maybe was intended to do liquids um, crystals but maybe because there's so many different values um, that they can create uh, you know different uh, levels and and sharpness and all this weird kind of stuff that each crystal has maybe it was hard to detect as a quest uh, thing so we're getting a bucket I already got buckets let's wait till they've got a full bucket in here I'm just going to reset my counter real quick because I do not want I think it's just slash kill if you stay up here too long All right. <laughs> I gotta shift to look at it, and then it takes me down. So we're at 650. And climbing. And let's see where we need to get to again to go to the other worlds. How far we need to get the resonating gem. Um, that is, if we look at our astral tomb. You can double click on these to zoom in quickly. I uh, believe we need to get to the next, at least the next level. So the Starlight Crafting Altar will need will get us there. And then we can make the, the altar that gives us the gems. So I assume because this is making light now that it's got a full bucket in it. Excuse me. Nope. It's just, just decided to produce light. We're almost there. Do, do, dance around the altars as they produce starlight. I'm guessing liquid starlight is also banned in the nether. Maybe I'll test that at a later time when I've got extra. Right now I've kind of going to need to hoard it because I'll need a lot. I'll need 12 buckets for the, uh, the other altar that I want to build. But there we go. We got our liquid starlight. Perfect. How are you doing on... Oh, it's going down. Um... So that'll get us the ability to go to the Starlight Crafting Altar. So that is one other crystal, um, some marble pillars, and some chiseled marble. So let's just get that recipe set up in here. Chiseled on the sides. And do, 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 do. pillars. Come on, go down there on the corners. Alright, so that is all ready as soon as I've got another crystal. It looks like the sun is rising. So I'm going to go to the overworld and go ahead and get as many crystals as I can. And we'll be back tonight, <laughs> just in a second for you guys, when we're ready to start crafting a few more things. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, everybody, we're back. I've been to the overworld for a maybe a fortnight. No, I don't even know what that means. Two nights, and I uh, got quite a few crystals. Uh, thanks to having luck on my pick, I'm getting a lot more than I normally would. Um, but I did have an issue. Um, I was digging, starting to dig, and all of a sudden, I just taken incredible amounts of damage. And I looked around. There was nothing around me. It was the middle of the day. There was no um, debuff on myself. You know, like a drowning or anything like that. And, uh, and it just kept going, you know, it took me down like half of the 400 hearts I have, or how many hearts I have, and so I just logged out, and I figured maybe it's just something broken with the game, I'll log out. So then I logged back in, and I see for a brief moment that there's a slime on my head, it's called like a brain slime, or head slime, or something, and then the game crashed. And then I launched it up again, and the game crashed again, <laughs> it mentioned something about a ticking entity. And then I launched it again, and it was fine. It launched, like, came back in, and I'm like, oh, okay, that was really weird. But it, the slime was gone, the damage was gone, everything was fine. And I kept going. And then I looked at my inventory, and Funshine's Dream is gone. <laughs> so I'm not sure what to do. I don't know if this is an intended mechanic where these kind of slimes steal your helm if you don't kill them in a certain amount of time. Or maybe they steal it, and you're supposed to kill them to get it back. I think it's kind of cheap that it just took it and I had no, no opportunity to defend myself really because of the bugs. So I probably will end up just spawning something back in. Um, I might not get the exact enchants because I don't even know if I remember. Maybe I'll go look at the video again and see what I had before. Um, 
But yeah, let me know if you guys know about these brain slimes or head slimes. I've never seen them before. <laughs> um, they're kind of pinkish, but it's not a standard pink slime. Yeah, I don't know. They're not even really mentioned in any eye in any way. But are they supposed to take your helmet? <laughs> or did I just have a random bug and I should fix it? Let me know, guys, in the comments and, and we'll decide on or if I just need to craft a new one or spawn one back in if it was a bug. Okay, so with all these crystals, what I want to do is use the one, the crappiest ones to craft. Because the ones that are really nice, and by really nice, um, I, gas, seriously, I mean having a high purity is kind of either your number one stat. Um, because cutting and size are pretty easy to buff. You can um, put them in a grindstone to increase the cutting. Uh, you can put them in a pool of um, liquid to increase the size. Um, purity is a little more random and, and takes longer to increase. So if you have ones that are, you know, 60, 70, even higher, you might want to keep those purities. Anything that, oh, this guy's really nice, a 75, yeah. Uh, his cutting and size suck, but we can reuse those pretty easily. Uh, but if we look at this guy, he's purity 16, and all the other stats suck too. So I'm going to use him to craft uh, our, our altar with. So if it is nighttime, it is the middle of day. Perfect. <laughs> uh, not perfect. Um, we can go up and craft that guy once it's nighttime. Let's go look. Um, I also wanted to mention to you guys, if you're doing astral sorcery in this pack, um, don't move your luminous crafting table around a lot. Because if you place the crafting table and then delete it, like, you know, mine it up, and then place something else in that same block, it can cause crashes. There might be a few more steps to it, but that's kind of what people on, on Discord are talking about. This crafting table somehow crashes the game if you do too much with it. So just be careful. Um, how much did we end up getting out of this? Bucket and a half each? Nice. It's pretty good. Good, and I can um, pump out of these into a tank and then just bucket it out so I could get one more bucket easily if I wanted to. And a hole in the world, wonderful. I have lots of holes in the world. Minecraft, what are you doing? These are all just, they're not really there. It's just the world didn't load right when I started up the game. So yeah, something really funky's going on. It's it's kind of funny that it started as soon as, you know, let's just put this crafting table down. Anyway, let's put in the, this guy in here. Um, why is it not even want to make it? Uh, get my tomb out here. So yeah, bucket, marble, and the scrafting table, chiseled marble. Okay, maybe we just need more starlight, but I'm used to it saying, you know, oh, you need this much starlight. Kind of interesting. <laughs> Why are you not working? Maybe it's just because it's not night. I don't know. It's also... Uh, okay, I don't need that extra structure. I was like, crap, the extra structure. I don't need this structure until I upgrade it for this next one to work. So that's the thing. The other thing is maybe it doesn't work in the nether. Possibly. Just whack it with this to tell. Let me come back at night and we'll see if this works and then we can wrap up the episode. Guys, be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Middle of the night and we have enough and it is actually showing up now, so it probably just meant that it wasn't nighttime. Uh, as soon as this crafts, it's going to turn into the new crafting altar and immediately not be usable anymore <laughs> because I don't have the, the multi-block structure around it to support it. Um, we can go in there and look at it just one more time, see if there's anything... Technically, we need so uh, go back into that. Why did you? Oh, it probably is. It opened up the new thing. Um, this gives you a list. You got the crafting altar, chisel, marble, arch, bricks, sooty, and pillar. Can I get the sooty from chiseling, or do I have to use coal? Oh, I don't even have any marble inventory, uh, so we'll take the bucket out and go ahead and take this out. So now I'm wondering if I put a starlight crafting altar back in that location, is it going to cause that bug? So, might have to move it, and probably will. Um, but yeah, let's grab a piece of marble real quick. Just see if... I mean, sooty's not that hard to do, but... Can we craft sooty? No. Okay. So 
So the only way to get this stuff is in the luminous crafting table, which no longer works. Uh, so I'm gonna have to make another one. Bummer. <laughs> I always forget to make enough sooty before I craft, I upgrade this thing. Cause we only have seven and we need 21. <sighs> All right, I'll do that between episodes. Next time we'll set out the multi-blocks, we'll upgrade and we'll look to get our um, quest done for the end. Uh, let's just go back in there real quick. I've got to get a little bit more black quartz, which I think I already have from our, our digging down in the near bedrock. Resin gem will be easily able to get next episode, so we'll start on that and then move into embers and see how far we can get on the Dawnstone. Uh, so guys, don't uh, don't miss it. Make sure you come back next time. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys later. Catch you later. Bye.